Trading View Keyboard Shortcuts. Welcome to Holy Grail Algo, simplified trading. Make sure to like, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell. Holy Grail Algo is not liable for any loss or damages which may result directly or indirectly from such content. Thanks for watching another Holy Grail Algo video. Today I want to talk about some of the keyboard shortcuts that I find useful in TradingView. Some of them are pretty obvious. You can find just by hovering your mouse over the name or the icon. And then some of them are not so obvious, so I'll show you a few of those at the end. Uh, but the very first one is pretty simple. It's for the indicators. Uh, basically, all you need to do is hit the forward slash on your keyboard and it brings up the indicators for you. So that one's pretty simple. Then here we actually have an alert shortcut. It is Alt and A. It'll bring up your alerts for you. Then if we go over here to the right, you do have a few. Uh, you can actually save your uh, chart just by hitting Control S and that's saved for you. Then right over to the right of that, you have Quick Search. Again, this one's pretty easy, just control K, and it'll go ahead and let you search for um, anything that you uh, might might need here. So fib retracement, remove indicators, uh, that can be pretty useful. Um, and then if we go over here, you can actually go into full screen mode just by shift and F. You'll see that that is full screen mode. You just hit escape to get out of that. And then we'll go back over here. So this one is not as useful unless you're looking to basically draw 45 degree lines, but you click on the trend line. Then first you need to hold down the shift button and then you can draw essentially perfectly 45 degree lines, 180. Um, so that is, it might be useful for, for some people. I don't use that one too often though. Um, but then if we go down here a little bit further, I believe the next one is our measure, which will let you measure uh, basically like the volume and the number of candles. So you just hold down shift and you can see it will measure the number of bars, the amount of volume. So that one's a pretty useful one I do like to use since I don't have the volume up here. And if we go down right below that, I believe the magnet mode. So yeah, if you want to snap drawings uh, close to the, the price on the bar, um, you can use that. And that's just basically hitting hitting control and you can move it. So not one that I use too, too often. Uh, and then if you want to hide all these drawings, uh, like these trend lines here, um, it's just control alt H and all of the drawings that I've put up there are gone. So that one's pretty easy as well. Then the next one here, this one is pretty useful. I like this. It is the go to feature. So if you want to go to a specific date or time, you just hold down Alt G and it'll let you put in either a custom date range or go to a specific day if you wanted to. So we could do 28, go to, and it'll take you right there to midnight, which is where I left it at. So the next one here, you are only going to see if you have multiple charts up. Um, so I'll change this to a four pane like I normally have. And now you'll see next to the auto, there is a toggle maximum chart. And so whichever chart you have selected, you basically just need to go ahead and hold down alt enter and it'll toggle that chart that you're clicked on. Then you hit alt enter again, it'll untoggle it. Doesn't quite say that, but that's how that one works. Uh, and then the other one that I like here, which is pretty useful, if let's say you go to a specific date here again, and then you want to actually snap all the way to the most current candle, you'll see there is a little arrow here, but alternatively, you can just hit Alt, Shift, and then Right, and that'll go ahead and take you all the way to the most recent candle. And one that they do not tell you about is if you do essentially the opposite, Alt Shift Left, it's just going to take you to the very first candle that trading you can offer. Might take it a second, but as you see, it took me all the way to the beginning here. And then again, just Alt Shift Right, and I'll go all the way back. So that one is pretty useful, especially if you're trying to do some back testing. I, I really do like that one um, quite a bit. And then the other two that TradingView does not mention anywhere. It's pretty simple though. As long as you're clicked on the chart, 
there's two things you can do just by typing on the keyboard. Um, so f the first one is, let's say we want to change the symbol on this chart. I just start typing it in. So let's do ESH. I don't even have to click up in the top left over here. I just start typing it in, make sure I'm on futures. Bam, it's got that up. Then the other thing that you can do that they don't mention is you can actually change the time. So let's say you want to do a 30 second candle. I just start typing in 30S, 30 seconds. I want to do a two hour. It does it in minutes, so you need to type in 120. And there's the two hour. So these are some of the shortcuts that I like. I find most of them pretty useful. Hopefully there's some that you weren't aware of and that this video helps you out. If there's anything else you want to see, just let us know, guys. Thank you for watching Holy Grail Algo. Make sure to like, subscribe, and drop us some comments.